Oh, hey. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, some shrimp. As you see, we're kicking it here with Leroy. We got his heads pulled off. As you can see, our damage over here actually isn't too bad. Let me turn the light on so you can actually see inside the cylinder. Oh yeah, that's better, bud. Let's get you on in there. Oh, no, shaky came on you. Well, I'm having a seizure. Okay. As you can see, try not to. Here, let me see if I hold it steady. Maybe that'll help. As you can see though, it's nice and shiny. I mean, we lost the ring land. You can see the ring right there. But otherwise, there's that tiny bit of scoring right there. Tiny bit of scoring, but you can't feel it. That's actually just like barely on the surface. Let's go take a look at the heads there. We have the driver's side head right here. But first, let's take a look at these. Mmm, that looks okay. Yeah, we're gonna do that. What in tarnation? What in America happened there? Yeah. Mmm. All right. Now we can talk. So, as you can see, I definitely sheared that guy. Took some of the threads off. Sorry, that was loud. And we also did it on this one. Yeah, pretty nasty. All head bolts look good, came out fine. All the rockers, lifters, push rods, all that junk. Everything came out good. Everything looks fine here, except for we had a mishap with our water jacket or our, that'd be this guy. This thing definitely had a failure. We'll end up replacing it with something digital, that way we can data log with it. But passenger side, or driver side, looks fantastic. Everything's good there. Well, we're gonna pull these pistons out. I actually ordered some new ones. They should be here within the week. So as you can see, I got everything stripped out. I'm gonna go ahead and just pull the block and I'm gonna leave the mains, I'm gonna leave the crank in. I'm just gonna pull these guys. And I'm gonna reuse the uh, bearings that are currently there, unless they're like grossly out of spec for some reason. I don't see why they would be, but we'll figure that out. I'm just gonna do this all cheap, get it back together. I like we'll be ordering aluminum heads before too long, but we're gonna do this like we're super duper broke, cause I am. That looks fine. Well, let's talk about this guy. Oh yeah, that's that's beautiful. It actually welded a chunk right there. Let's, let's see if we can get to focus. Yeah, look at that. It's actually welded on there. But surprisingly, the valves are not bent. Um, I haven't gotten a look at the valve seat yet, obviously, because they're still in. So that's gonna be the next thing is just you know get the retainers out, get the springs out. Um, I might order new springs and retainers. I might just reuse these pieces of crap. I'm not really sure. We'll decide that later. But I just wanted to give you guys something. Let you know I'm still here. I've been feeling like crap lately. But it's whatever. Yeah. Check out how hot those got. Because let's look at the difference of these valves. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, there's definitely a difference here. Cylinder 8 is not happy. Oh well, not a big deal. Uh, these heads, I'm, I was going to port them and do a bunch of stuff with them, but I just don't really care. There's too much work that needs done. You know, you'd have to pull these out, machine them so that they can have the screw-in rocker stud, port out the chambers, 
poured out this, poured out that. The amount of money that you would spend just doing the stuff, just by the cheapo eBay heads, and they're aluminum. So that's what's going on next. Uh, yeah. I don't really have much else for you at the moment. Just kind of jerking around, got everything ripped apart, waiting for some stuff to come in the mail. And then we'll go from there. So, also forgot to note that I definitely sheared that guy off because these things are just slightly out of spec. Uh, oh, look in there. Look at that. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, I'm not sure we're going to use these heads again. Between that, that, and that. <laughs> oh, man. That's pretty bad. I wonder what the other ones look like. There's some shavings in there. Oh, man. That's not so bad. That's not so bad. Let's see. That's not terrible. What the heck, man? So the head that got beat up the most by the piston, it looks like that was the only one that got chewed a little bit. But this one here that had no damage from the piston, everything else was fine, and it's all tore up on the exhaust side. Fantastic! Aluminum heads it is. Stupid. Alright, let me give you an idea. I was uh, pulling the valve. Let me show you what I got going on here. So, I lost the little piece. As you can see, there's holes right there, and it's actually threaded on this side. So, yeah, there was a screw that held that together, and I lost it. So, vice grip. And then this won't stay. <laughs> And it's, dude, if anyone's done this before, that you know that this thing is hell to try to, you know, leverage down onto, unless you've got this thing bolted to something. And then I can't turn this guy, so I'm using the same tool. Oh, oh come on now. You gonna stay? There we go. We'll do it one-handed. But yeah, this is, uh, this is how I'm getting the valves off, so I can check the valve seat. Oh, come on. I have to go just that tiny bit more. Jesus. There it is. All right, set that guy there. Get this one. All right, and then we can let it go. I outsmarted myself, just took the stupid vice grip off and opened the clamp up. All right, now, if that guy would just pop out, that'd be cool. Pop out. Pop out. Oh, come on. How frustrating. Uh, let's try this guy. It's part of my. But. <laughs> Well, all right then. How far did it go? Oh, there it is. Woo As you see, old Leroy has uh, become a helper in the cleaning because I'm rearranging all my stuff. So, trying to make it more of a shop rather than a garage. Go ahead and get that guy off of there. Oh, yeah, it's all sorts of dry and brittle. But at least it worked from what I can see. <clears throat> I mean, it looks a little wet. They look pretty good considering. It's nice and tight on the guide. Oh, uh, yeah. Now that actually doesn't look that bad. It just looks like it chipped the coating. Or is it, oh, no, that looks like a piece of aluminum. Yeah, this is the one that did most of the damage as far as chewing it up. I wonder how our seat looks. Yeah, there was quite a bit of oil coming in there. So that, that seal was bad, obviously. There's a lot of carbon in there. 
and a lot of oil. Yeah, so that valve stem seal was bad. Oh well. Yeah, there's a lot of carbon and oil in there. But the seat looks okay. You know, we could always just throw a set of valve stem seals on it. Use a lapper, clean them junks up. That's more than enough to run a few more times. I mean, you know, we got a little welded aluminum in there we can clean off, but hey. Ah, oh, there we go. Souvenir. Is that a, is that like a refinement, like a GM refinement system here? Anyways, that's not too bad though. We could, uh, we could salvage this. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely salvageable. So I guess we'll have to pull the other ones because I know all the other valve guides or the valve stem seals are bad, but the springs feel okay. The retainers are fine. I don't see why we can't just, uh, maybe hit this thing. Cause see right there, let me get my finger in there and show you what it is I'm talking about right here. This big old thing that's in the way. There is no need for that. None at all. That that guide is more than long enough to not have this big old freaking hump in the way. And you can see where they tried to make it swirl. Here, let me switch hands here. Okay, you can see right here. Let me get my screwdriver. So when it, we're going to kind of unswirl it a little bit. But you see how it comes in right here and it's supposed to make it swirl coming up this portion right here and then comes up and around you can see there's this lip right here you know these are the things that make the swirl pores technically these are still vortex heads a lot of people don't know that these are indeed vortex heads you talk to a gm tech who worked during this time period he will tell you that they all refer to these as the first version of the vortex heads they are okay they just need some love and since we're running boost I mean, that chamber really isn't as bad as everybody makes it seem like. In fact, we could tolerate that quite a bit. I don't know. We may port these a bit and play with them while we're waiting and saving up to get aluminum heads and new valves and all that kind of junk. Uh, at the moment, I'm poor, so we're going to do what poor man does. We're going to make it work, not make it right. Don't do it right. Just make it work. Isn't that what Freiburger said? Something like that. That dude's my spirit animal. All right, yeah, we're, uh, we're going to get to work on these heads. I'm just going to go ahead and try to extract and re-tap. If we have to, we'll helicoil. I don't really care. We'll like we'll put studs in there, and I'll weld them in. I don't, we'll figure it out. That, that's kind of where we're at at the moment. I just want to get Leroy back on the road. Uh, I don't really care how it happens. So That's where we're at at the moment. Oh, yeah. We got a lot of cleaning to do. That terrible cast number. That's the worst number you want to see. That 193. Ugh. Alright. I'm going to get them cleaned up. This is, uh, this is it for right now. I'll let you know what happens next. Thanks for watching. I appreciate y'all. Peace.